A northeast Mississippi high-tech business that does a lot of work for the U.S. government is moving ahead uh, with its contracts in spite of the government shutdown. Riley Martin tells us how the Hyperion Technology Group is able to work hard to keep U.S. troops safe even as other government services are affected. For the 36 employees at Hyperion Technology Group, the government shutdown has gone largely unnoticed. Hyperion's customer base includes firms in the automotive and medical fields, along with specialized systems for the military. While some government agencies are at a standstill because of the shutdown, Hyperion's government work is not slowing down. So far, the government shutdown hasn't affected our business at all um, since most of our contracts are through the Department of Defense. The Department of Defense is not impacted by the shutdown. It is fully funded. That is good not only for companies like Hyperion Technology Group, but also for U.S. troops serving overseas. Several years ago, Hyperion engineers worked with the U.S. military to develop the Firefly Threat Detection System. The sensors are used to detect and pinpoint gunshots from a variety of weapons. It is used extensively overseas to help protect troops, and Carter's team is hard at work on other military projects. We've got a test coming up later this month. Uh, we'll be in, in Yuma, Arizona testing a new system, mm -hmm. and all of that is still 100% on schedule. It's, uh, none of that has been affected at all. In fact, business is so good, Hyperion Technology Group will soon move its headquarters to a much larger location, giving it four times more space. In Tupelo, Ali Martin, WCBI News. The new location there in Tupelo should be ready by April. Carter says more employees will be needed once the move is complete.